Hello there guys and welcome to a cherry popping video, this time it's the turn of Watch Dogs. Now I'm sure Watch Dogs needs no introduction, but just in case you've been living under a rock or stranded on a desert island, here's the rundown on Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs is an open world action adventure game developed by Ubisoft Montreal and published by Ubisoft. Go figure. The game was released May 27th, 2014 for PC, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360 and Xbox One. I believe a Wii U version is coming later for the two or three people that actually own a Wii U. Watch Dogs is a third person shooter set in an open world recreation of Chicago, Illinois. A fictionalized hyper-connected version of the city managed by a centralized system called CTOS. Single player story is told through Aidan Pierce, a highly skilled hacker who can hack into the CTOS, granting him access to various electronic systems either to obtain and control information or to interact with these systems. There is also a multiplayer version of the game and I'll be checking it out a little later. So if it's worth it, I'll try and report back. Now since this is my first impressions of the game, I'm not going to give you a huge over bloated review detailing the intricacies of the game, nor am I going to be able to tell you the good, bad and the ugly of the game. This is a first impression, what I think of the game after a limited playtime. And well, so far I can tell you on Ultra this game looks stunning and hopefully YouTube does it justice in that respect. The controls on PC are pretty good and it does have controller support too. In fact, switching between the two is pretty seamless. It's a little thing I know, but I've found that some games simply won't let me play with a controller if I started with a keyboard first and vice versa. So I have to exit the game and switch. Not so with this one. The game instantly recognizes you used a controller and the on-screen prompts change to reflect that. Some of the UI isn't perfect and I guess will work slightly better on a controller than it will with a keyboard and mouse setup. Take the weapon selection screen for example. You have to move the mouse around to highlight your choice and it feels a bit hit and miss. A controller I guess would just go around in a circle and be easier to highlight the one you want. Once chosen and in hand you can use your mouse wheel to switch weapons which feels nice and familiar. So all in all it's not bad and it doesn't leave you feeling like the PC was an afterthought like so many games can. Out in the open world the cars feel a little twitchy and again would probably work better with the controller. And I know some of you are probably questioning why I didn't just use the controller. And the simple answer is well I forgot. As well as I'm a PC gamer so using my keyboard and mouse just comes more naturally to me. The world itself really feels alive. Like it's going on with or without you. And I just love finding out that the guy that looks like a badass, well, he actually collects dolls in his spare time. Or the woman that's all business-like has a, you know, crazy pawn fetish. There is so much to do and discover in this game that I simply can't seem to put it down. And it doesn't feel like it'll get boring anytime soon. And then there are unexpected things like the spider tank. Now I'm not going to spoil that one for you, but when you do find it, yeah, you're going to want to try it out, trust me. For me, this one looked appealing at E3 last year and the information that's been released since still look good, but I couldn't help feeling like this was Ubisoft's Grand Theft Auto. And great though they are, they just don't hold my attention for long enough for me to justify spending the money. And let's be brutally honest, this game is as close as it can get to being GTA without it being a complete ripoff. That said though, this game has its own uniqueness too. It's clever, really clever, and it's challenging. And above all, it is fun. Okay, and I think that about sums it up, for now anyway. And I would give this one a 9 out of 10 bananas. Do you see what I did there? Hey, banana? Yeah, anyway. That's about it from me guys, thank you very much for watching, I'm going to go and play some more because it's that good. If you like the video, please leave me a rating, if you like the look of the game then go buy it if you haven't already got it, I think it's worth it. As always, thank you very much for watching, it is much appreciated and I will see you soon.